So every once in a while in our training, I get really good questions. One of the questions I got this week was, does Drupal lock nodes so that two content editors can't edit them at the same time? <laughs> I got to admit, I wasn't sure. So I went looking and I found the answer. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And surprisingly, node locking or content locking is not available in Drupal out of the box. Two editors can go in and edit a node at the same time. Whoever hits save first wins. Well, that's just not good. So I went looking. And you know what? Of course, there's a module for that. And the module name is Content Locking. It serves two purposes. Number one, it's going to lock a node while somebody's in it. And number two, if you want, it's going to go ahead and unlock a node after a certain amount of time that the node has been locked, but the browser is idle. Also, a super user or administrator with sufficient permissions can go in and manually unlock the node. So this is actually pretty terrific and honestly, I don't understand why this one isn't in core or something like it, of course. So let's head over. I've installed the module and I'm going to go to content, content authoring and content lock. There's just a couple of things you have to do here. Once you install the module, the normal way with composer. Number one, you have to decide if you're going to show a message at the top of the screen. That's probably a pretty good idea as well as what entity types you're going to make the lock work for. Typically, it's going to be content and maybe taxonomy terms, but you can see all of the things that you can use with this module. Finally, once you decide on the entity type, you've got a little bit of configuration here for each entity type. Finally, there's timeout settings. I can set a timeout and I can automatically break stale locks on edit so that if the lock is stale and another editor comes in to edit the node, it'll automatically break that lock. That's not a bad idea. So once again, save configuration. All right. So I'm going to head over to content and I'm going to edit my Drupal hotel node. And you'll see that the content is now locked against simultaneous editing and the content will remain locked if I navigate away from this page without saving or unlocking it of course, up to 30 minutes. Then down at the bottom, again, someone with sufficient permissions can unlock the node automatically. So let's take a look and see what that looks like as well. I'm logged into the same site with only a content editor kind of role, i.e. all I can see is content. So if I go over here to the Drupal hotel and click edit, you'll see that the content is being edited by the user admin and is locked. And it's been that way for a minute and eight seconds. And because I don't have higher privileges than an administrator, I don't see the unlock button. Now, if that was reversed, the administrator would see the unlock button and be able to unlock the node. Finally, you may have seen here on my content overview page that I've actually added an is locked or not locked icon to my display. That's a simple edit of the administration view and the locking status is now just a field that I can attach to my view and even my filter. Big appreciation to Bobby and Pavan from Walden University, two students in my course last week that asked this question that made me go and look and well, I can bring the answer to you. All right, so as I've mentioned, I can't believe this isn't in core, but of course there's a module for that. It's a terrific one. The link is down in the description. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We release a new video every week. I hope it's been helpful. We'll see you next time.